Wow, something spectacular just happened in our solar system and we almost missed it. Apparently, Saturn was hit by something. So, what mysterious object collided with the gas giant? And what does that mean for Earth? We're going to break down this crazy story right now, so make sure you stick around until the end. Welcome, everyone. Saturn used to be my favorite planet, with its majestic rings and swirling storms. These days, I'd say it's Earth. After all, it's the only planet where you can get pizza. Let me know in the comments which planet is your favorite, and most importantly, why. I'd really love to know. We'll even count Pluto. And by the way, if you always want to be instantly informed about discoveries in space, go ahead and subscribe now. Subscribing doesn't cost anything. You'll never miss another video, and you'll be helping me out, and if you've already subscribed, giving this video a thumbs up really helps a lot. Maybe we can even hit 5,000 likes. And now, just imagine you're sitting comfortably in your garden. You point your telescope at Saturn and take a few video recordings for your collection. That's exactly what Mario Rana, a longtime NASA employee and passionate amateur astronomer, did in the early morning of July 5th. What he filmed between 5 a.m. and 5.15 a.m. local time could make astronomical history. His special detection software, designed to automatically recognize such events, suddenly sounded the alarm. At exactly 5.07 a.m. Eastern Time, it detected something unusual, a bright flash of light at the edge of Saturn. Now begins the biggest search in astronomy in a long time. What hits Saturn and what makes this event so special? Although scientists estimate that about seven asteroids or comets hit Saturn every year, no one has ever caught such an event live. Never. So that would be the astronomical equivalent of photographing the Loch Ness Monster or the Yeti. Well, except that, of course, those don't actually exist. What's that supposed to mean? Of course I exist. Saturn is a true colossus in our solar system. As the second largest planet with its impressive mass, it naturally attracts a lot of cosmic debris. But unlike rocky planets such as Earth, which retain a beautiful crater as a souvenir after an impact, a gas giant like Saturn swallows the evidence almost completely. The outer layers consist mainly of hydrogen and helium, so a collision can disappear without leaving a trace. Scientists have tried to model how often such impacts occur. A recent study concluded that objects with a diameter of more than one kilometer only hit Saturn about once every 3,125 years. That corresponds to a rate of 0.00032 impacts per year. That doesn't sound like much, but smaller chunks naturally hit much more frequently. The findings of the Cassini mission are particularly interesting as they have shown that impacts can indeed leave traces in the ring system. Linda Spilker, Cassini project scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, explained back in 2013 that our results show that today's impact rates for small particles on Saturn are about the same as on Earth. These are two very different neighborhoods in our our solar system, and it's exciting to see that. It takes Saturn's rings, which act like a giant meteorite detector with a surface area hundreds of times that of Earth and Cassini's long-term tour of the Saturn system to answer these questions. Just imagine this. The rings of Saturn act as a cosmic detector. Every tiny impact creates small ripples in this ring system, almost like when the Yeti tosses a stone into a calm mountain lake on a quiet day. <laughs> Can you guys stop following me? But back to Mario Rana's mysterious flash of light. The Planetary Virtual Observatory and Laboratory, or PVOL for short, immediately launched an appeal. Mark Delcroix from PVOL reports that the potential collision would have been very weak and is still unconfirmed. The very brief impact flash occurred on July 5th between 9 and 9.15 a.m. It is very important to obtain other videos of Saturn from this period. This is where the exciting detective work begins because a single flash of light is not enough to confirm the impact. Lee Fletcher from the University of Leicester sums it up. If only one person sees this flash, and that's where we are right now, there's still a chance that it is not real. It will just be a speck in the observations. If someone else saw the same flash, fantastic, we have an impact. This is the principle of science in its purest form. An extraordinary claim requires extraordinary evidence. In this case, that means at least two independent observations of the same event at the same time. And only in this way can astronomers make sure that it's not a camera error cosmic radiation, or some other technical malfunction. Mark Norris from the University of Central Lancashire is optimistic. 
The popularity of astronomy as a hobby and the quality of modern telescopes are promising. There's a good chance that someone out there has something they either haven't looked at yet or simply dismissed as a problem they were having. It's really fascinating, isn't it? In this day and age when so many people are observing the sky with high quality telescopes, the evidence could already be slumbering somewhere in a digital archive. Perhaps someone in Europe or Asia was observing Saturn at the same time and captured the crucial second angle. But why is this even so important? Our solar system is basically a giant cosmic shooting gallery. Everywhere, remnants from the time of its formation nearly four and a half billion years ago are floating around, from tiny specks of dust to kilometer-sized asteroids. Sometimes their paths cross with those of the planets, and when that happens, things usually get pretty intense. The most spectacular example in recent history was the impact of the comet Shoemaker-Levi 9 on Jupiter in 1994. This comet broke apart into fragments, which crashed into the giant planet one after another, leaving dark spots in its cloud layers. A true fireworks display in space. Even on the moon, we can occasionally observe impacts, and every day, thousands of small meteors pelt the Earth's atmosphere. If it turns out that Mario Rona actually caught an impact on Saturn, it wouldn't just be a historic moment, but also incredibly valuable for science. Although researchers can only conduct limited scientific research without prior information about the impacting object, every observation helps us to better understand the frequency and effects of such cosmic collisions. The DETECT project, to which Mario Runner contributes, uses software to analyze images of Jupiter and Saturn in order to detect exactly these kinds of brief flashes of light. The system is designed to detect even the faintest signals that the human eye might overlook. If the impact is confirmed, it would be a triumph for citizen science. An amateur astronomer with a home telescope would have achieved something that professional astronomy has been waiting for for decades, perhaps even forever. This shows once again how important collaboration between professionals and amateurs has become in modern astronomy. The hunt for confirmation is in full swing. Astronomers around the world are combing through their archives for images from the night of July 5th. Anyone who observed Saturn at that time could become the hero of this story. So if you happen to have your telescope pointed at the ringed planet at that time, be sure to take another look at your recordings. Until we have a definitive answer, all we can do is wait. But just the possibility that we might have witnessed the first ever recorded impact on Saturn is truly exciting. Of course, I'll keep you updated as soon as there are any new developments. If you want to be there when it's revealed whether we've really made astronomy history, then subscribe to the channel now and turn on notifications. Also, don't forget to give a thumbs up so we can hit 5,000 likes. And now, let's move on to another crazy event that's currently happening in our solar system. An interstellar intruder has been spotted by NASA, an object from another star system in the Milky Way. We've actually discovered a new Oumuamua. Everything about it, the original footage, and why we might even be able to reach it this time, all of that is in the video linked at the top right. Definitely check it. Exciting! As always, you'll find another video about science and space at the bottom right. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, folks.